Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus Now these are the two heavy hitters that everybody been waiting for so let's see if they live up to the hype Now both of these phones are available on all of the major carriers I bought these from Samsung.com and I'm gonna activate them both on Sprint Now y'all know I hate talking about specs but since this is an unboxing video, let's go over the main specs that you need to know, starting with my most important spec, the price. Now for the Galaxy S8, you're looking at 750 plus tax, that's around 800 bucks. And for the Galaxy S8 Plus, you're looking at 850 plus tax, that's around 900 bucks. Now let's stop right here. Now I said this before, and I'll say it again, and I'm going to keep saying it until these companies start paying attention, the price is too damn high. Now, back in the day, Samsung could get away with these ridiculous prices because they had all of the features, all of the gimmicks. They had the wireless charge, the removable battery, the micro SD card, the uh, 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 IR blasters. You know, they was able to charge these crazy prices and they had the brand recognition and people would pay them. But after what happened with the Galaxy Fireball 7, you would think Samsung would have a little bit of mercy on its customers and try to build the base back up by coming out with some reasonably priced flagship phones but they didn't do that. So mark that to your list of things that I don't like so far, the price. Now, speaking of the price, the days of spending 800 and 900 bucks for a good phone is over. And I'll give you three perfect examples. OnePlus 3T. Now this phone you could get right now for 450 bucks. This is a certified beast. All right, this phone hasn't lagged on me yet. If you like stock Android, this is pretty much a stock build. Quality phone right here. All right, less than 500 bucks. Then you got the Huawei Mate 9. All right, shout out to Team Hawaii. The Mate 9 is a beast. You could line this phone up right now with pretty much any flagship that's out and it'll be able to hold its own. And this one you could get right now for 550 bucks. And last but not least, the Coupe de Gras, the icing on the cake. The LG G6. Now this might be the best buy of the year. This one right here, 550 bucks. You got always on display, wireless charge, glass back, 16 by nine ratio, expandable memory, Android 7.0 nugget. I mean, everything that you could want, plus the wide angle lens camera, 550 bucks. So think about that for a second. You could spend 900 bucks and get this S8 Plus, or you could spend 550, get the LG G6, and get yourself a dope watch to go with it. And you'll still have some change. All right, back to the specs. Now, both of these phones have identical specs, except for a few minor differences, and we'll talk about those when we get to them. Now, for the Galaxy S8, you got a 5.8 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 by 2960. Now, that's 570 for the PPI Patrol. Now, for the Galaxy S8 Plus, you got a 6.2 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 by 2690, and that's 529 for the PPI patrols. Now, both of these phones are a unibody design, and they feature Corning and Gorilla Glass 5 on the back panel. Now, both of these phones are water-resistant. That's IP68 water and dust certified. Now, both of these phones are running Android 7.0 Nugget. All right, shout out to the Nugget boys, fresh out of the box with TouchWiz UI, the infamous TouchWiz UI skin. Now, for the processor, here's what you're paying for. You got the latest and greatest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8, uh, 835 with the Adreno 540 GPU. So that's the latest processor and the latest GPU. For storage, both of these phones have 64 gigs of onboard storage with 4 gigs of RAM, and they do feature a micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now, for the camera, both of them have the same cameras, 12 megapixel on the rear, that's f1.7, phase detection, uh, optical image stabilization, LED flash, laser autofocus, all of the uh, bells and whistles. And you can shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second. On the front, you got an 8 megapixel camera, that's f1.7. Now for the battery, on the Galaxy S8, you got a non-removable 3000 milliamp battery that features quick charge. And the Galaxy S8 Plus, you got a non-removable 3500 milliamp battery that also features quick charge. Now, both of these phones have the fingerprint sensor, the iris scanner, 3D touch on the home button, wireless charge, 
headphone jack. I got to mention that these days. Headphone jack, NFC, USB Type-C, and the heart rate monitor that you can work with your S-Health app. All right, so let's get into these. Now, shout out to the new unboxing knife. Got the tiger skin gold joint on deck. Shout out to the white shoes. Who see the white shoes in the corner? Shout out to Xerxes. Let's start with the S8. Beautiful presentation. Now, even though I ranted about the price, I can't deny Samsung, they know how to do it with the presentation. All right, when you buy a Galaxy phone, you feel like you just bought a premium phone. Slide this out. All right, let's try the new unboxing knife. Rah. There it goes, okay. <laughs> Inside, now this is my first time seeing this phone in person and holding it in hand. And I gotta tell you, from the back, it looks just like a S7 Edge. But from the front, no home button. Okay, and the bezel is display. Now you got your fingerprint sensor on the back. I automatically don't like that. Let's see what else you get. Now, y'all see Xerxes, she approves this phone, so we're gonna have to keep that into consideration. Okay, you get your usual books and shit. File those to the side. Here's your SIM ejection tool. Okay, you get your quick charge. Okay, adaptive fast charging. You get your OTG. All right, I gotta hide that from Zerx. All right, now this is tough. You get your micro USB to USB-C converter. So this way, if you got your car charger or all your old school accessories, you can still use these. Let's see what else you get. Okay, now I see what they're doing with the price. I, I'm not really too mad now. Here's your, I am still mad, I'm just kidding. Here's your USB Type-C cable. Look out, Zerx, back up. <laughs> oh boy. Different size ear tips and some headphones. Oh, check out these headphones now. I right, shout out to Samsung for not doing that, that purple packing to try to troll me. Back up, Zerts. Now you got these, it has a texture on the headphones. All right, so I'm kind of feeling that. Let me give Zerk something to play with. Zerk, check this out. Go get that. <laughs> Back up, Zerk. <laughs> oh, Zerk is trolling so hard today. All right, let's get this out the way and we'll get into this S8 Plus. All right, so initial impressions. <laughs> Initial impressions, feels good in the hands. Let's get this plastic out of here. Okay. Woo! Okay. I like the bezel-less display. No home button on the front. Ah! I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I don't know if I'm feeling that. Anyway, let's take it to S8 Plus. Now, I think this is going to be my heavy hitter right here, but we'll see. We'll see. My days of being a loyal Samsung loyalist a loyal loyalist is pretty much over, Rah. especially after the Pixel XL. Let's see if this could take the place as my new favorite phone. Here we go. Okay, so here's your S8 Plus. Now I went with black for the S8 Plus and I went with the adamantium silver for the S8. Okay, let's peel this off. Here we go. Whew, look at that. Yo, I gotta do the smell test on this. Something in this box smells nice and fresh, and I like that. I, I like that. Let's power this on. All right, let's see. Same things inside the box. No reason to go through all of that. Now, let's put them side by side. Let's see. S8 Plus, a little bit taller. Okay, not much. And a little bit wider. But oh my God, both of these phones feel so dope in the hand. Look at that display. Bezel to bezel. Let me grab this G6 real quick. Let me see something. Let's see. All right, G6. Yeah, this one got less bezel. Less bezel. All right, so let me pause the video real quick. I'll put all my information in the phones. We'll activate them up and then we'll breeze through the OS and breeze through all of the buttons. Little drop test. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phones. I've been playing around with them for a few minutes, and I gotta be honest with y'all. On a scale of one to 10, these are a major, major, major go. All right, I'm blown away. Now, y'all heard me bitching about the price at the beginning. I understand you gotta pay to play. Pay that money. 
All right, shout out to Samsung. They hit a home run with these. Now, if you like the Galaxy Fireball 7, then you're going to love these new S8s. Now, on a side note, whenever there's a new flagship phone that's coming out, and I know for sure that I'm going to get it, I never watch any videos ahead of time. I don't do too much research because that kind of takes the fun out of it for me. I want to go into this fresh and I want to get the full experience as a new consumer buying a new product. Well, one of the things I was concerned with with these Galaxy S8s was the fingerprint sensor on the back. I thought I was going to hate that, and I do. But I didn't notice that on the front. You see that little square on the bottom? That's a 3D touch button that pretty much works as a home button. Now, with these phones, you'll never have to use this fingerprint sensor if you don't want to because of the iris sensor and the facial recognition software is crazy. All right, let me show you the iris sensor real quick. All right, now swipe up. It's going to activate. I'm just going to look at it and look how fast that opened. All right, now I'll do a full review and we'll get into that a little bit more heavy. But one thing I like even more than that, now on the Galaxy Fireball 7, the iris sensor was my favorite feature. But the facial recognition software, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with y'all, I set it up and I didn't realize it was on. I thought I didn't have a lock screen on. I thought every time I opened the phone, it just wasn't staying locked. But that's how fast. Watch this now. I'm not going to look at it. You see the phone is locked. Now watch when I look at it. I'm just going to unlock it and look at it. Look at that. Now I'm doing this from behind the camera. I'm just looking at the phone. I am impressed. I, I'm fully impressed. Now, let's go through some of the software. You got your edge panels. All right, you got your smart select edge, your apps edge, your people edge. All right. And you could go to settings and fully customize this. Add some more edges if you want. Now, I'm not going to turn this into a full review. We'll save that for the after I use this for a week. Let's, let's just go through the settings real quick and see some of the changes. Now, I haven't even looked at all of this stuff. Let's go to advanced features and see what we got on deck. All right, so you got your smart stay. Got one-handed mode games. Let's see the finger sensor gestures. Okay, we'll turn those on. Now, that's one thing about TouchWiz. Love it or hate it, look at all of the features. Now, some people are going to call it gimmicks. Haters are going to say it's Photoshopped. But you call it gimmicks, I call it features. It's only a gimmick if you don't use it and you don't give it a chance. I right, just like wireless charge, a lot of people think it's a gimmick. Go out and get yourself one of these. All right, get yourself a Samsung fast wireless charge. Now that you got a phone that has a dope always on display, you're going to want to have this. And look how dope this looks, the black on black. You're going to have your phone wirelessly charging on your desktop. That's kind of crazy. But so far, I love this little 3D touch button. So this way I don't have to use the fingerprint sensor on the back. Oh, and look at that. I just looked at the phone. No aiming at the camera. No trying to line it up. Now, y'all remember, facial recognition software, this is old. Y'all remember it was on the old school Nexus back in the days, and you could just take somebody else's picture and line it up and open it. And it wasn't even that responsive. You had to really look at it and get your face all up in there. I'm telling y'all, when I was setting up the phone, it kept, you know, I had the screen time out at 30 seconds, so the display kept turning off. Every time I went to turn it back on, it just popped open. So I was like, there's no lock screen on this. Then I realized that it's that facial recognition software and it's so fast. Iris sensor just as fast as the Fireball 7. This is crazy. You got all your, all your gestures, your palm swipe, direct call. You know, you're doing a text message. Just hold the phone to your ear. Smart alerts. Video enhancer. Now check this out. Let's go to display. Let's go to screen resolution. Look at that. We're going to set this on... WQHD, maximum HD. All right, we hit apply on that. Now, I like to rock maximum brightness. Screen timeout. Let's put that at five minutes. Why not? Let's see. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Let me show you the always on display. Look at that. And you could actually double tap stuff. Facial recognition. Bang. Well, let's update this. All right, so anyway, if there's anything y'all want me to specifically cover when I do the real review, hit me up in the comments and let me know. Now, y'all know this is a big one, so it's going to be a long review. We're going to go over everything, camera, processor. We'll do a little waterproofing test on this, maybe even a little drop test. Why not? We'll check the fingerprint sensor. 
We'll check the uh, multitasking. Yeah, you got your multitasking on deck. All these apps I got open at the same time. We'll check. We'll uh, tech. <laughs> we'll test out TouchWiz and see if it's any lag. Look at this display, though. Now it is a fingerprint magnet. Look at the back. Let me wipe that down. All right, wipe me down. Look at that. Whew. Now I thought the G6 was the sexiest phone out. The title is back in Samsung's lap. This is so sexy. If y'all like the Galaxy S7, this one is actually a little bit taller. Now, if this had an S Pen, it would be officially game over for everything else. So we're waiting on that Note 8 because I miss my S Pen so bad. But I can live without it with these. If you got to choose, I, I think that the black one looks better. It does come in our uh, coral blue. And I think they're going to have a uh, gold version coming out soon. Black one looks so much better. And if you got to choose between the S8 and the Plus, I advise you to get the S8 Plus. Now, it might not seem like a big deal, that extra couple of inches on the screen, but trust me, in hand, all right? This feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know my information. Oh, this is so dope. All right, I'm kind of blown away. I'm trying not to sound like a hype beast, but activate hype levels. This might be my new favorite phone. All right, so we'll check out the camera. We'll check out the speakers. We'll check out everything. And I got a million and one cases, so we'll get into the cases too. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me, all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock, one to beam up. Energize.